Well, you got Blake Snell that is still out there. And to me, the reality needs to set in pretty quickly as they go to the Grapefruit Circuit and the Cactus League and these camps open that he is not going to get seven years, $210 million, as Scott Boris asked for. I was told the Angels are still in the mix, but the Angels have drawn a line. The Angels would pay him $30 million, I was told, which would be the Otani money they had, only on a five-year deal. Well, five years, $150 mil is a hell of a haul, yeah, and he'd go sure to the is. front of their rotation. Mm -hmm. Would he have to swallow pride? Would he have to tell Scott Boris, this is the best offer. Let me take this best offer and be the man at Anaheim Stadium. I heard the Giants are in the mix. Now, the Giants have spent some free agent money. They really need somebody at the front of the rotation to complement Logan Webb hmm. and a couple of the young pitchers they have. Uh, I heard the Cubs are in the mix, but I don't think the Cubs are, because they've spent some money. I don't think that's it. Now, the other guy on the board there is Cody Bellinger, Chicago Cubs. Cody Bellinger was asking... Eight years, two hundred million. I don't know anybody that's given Cody Bellinger a two hundred million dollar package. Granted, he had the mystical year at Wrigley Field. He had the two really good early years with the Dodgers, but on either side of that, in in the middle, has been some really poor play. I just I think he's going back to the Cubs, but I don't even know if it's going to be eight years at two hundred million. So, you tell me, what should Blake Snell do? Take control of his career? or wait for the agent to find the right place. I don't know if he'd like pitching on the moon, but that Scott Boris has always <laughs> kept his stars out. Mm -hmm. And the last minute, he sends some of his guys to weird places. You know, I'll never forget, he tried to explain to me what was positive about taking Adrian Beltre out of Dodger Stadium, waited, 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 and relocated him to Seattle. Yes. And he didn't fit. It wasn't a happy time. Mm -hmm. So he became a free agent again. I wound up to Texas. Phenomenal season, wound up putting him in the Baseball Hall of Fame. But that's an example. If you wait too long, the money's gone. Wait too long, locations aren't as many as might have been there very early. So what does Snell do, and what do you think is the realistic price tag on Bellinger? Well, first of all, I think they're all playing a game of chicken, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the clock is ticking. They got to report to spring training soon, and someone needs to blink first. So is it Boris? Is it Artie Moreno? I mean, who's going who's gonna to actually – compromise and make the deal happen. Um, great that the Angels are in the mix for Snell. Hopefully they're in the mix for Bellinger too. The Angels need a lot of help. Blake Snell, you know, he has to understand that he, you know, he's not, you know, dominant every year. You're not sure what you're going to get, but boy, when he's good, he's really good. So I think it's in his interest just to kind of continue to wait and see because he's still going to get five years times 30 million, 150 million. That's going to happen. You know, but if he hangs around, maybe Boris can get more. And Boris typically comes through for his clients. But people have gone away. Red Sox are not in the running for Snell anymore. I was told the Cubs decided we're going to look at Bellinger rather than Blake Snell. The Mets are trying to recalibrate, get well below the luxury tax for next year. I would have thought the Mets would have been it, but not not at seven years, two hundred ten million for a pitcher. So outside of going to Pluto or <laughs> Mars to pitch mm -hmm. and Boris, if there were teams there could get the money, take them there. Where's Snell going to go? I think what he should do is he's not coming back to San Diego because they don't have any money left in the checking account. If he can get five years, one fifty to be the man. And maybe, you, maybe he gets opt outs after the second year mm -hmm. where he could still go back into free agency. If he has another Cy young type season, I mean, what he did last summer for the Padres was phenomenal. But prior to that, we'd not seen anything equal to that going back to the year he won the Cy Young before the elbow surgery with Tampa Bay. So there's a whole bunch of unproven seasons bookended by two phenomenal years. So if I'm Artie Moreno, I call Scott Boros there in Orange County. Five years, $50 million will give you to March 15th. Wait, five years, 50 million? No, five years, 150 million. Okay, 150. 30 right. mil per. Right. That's the offer we'll give you to March 15th. Well, has that offer been made or has it just been rumored? No, I think it's been made. Mm -hmm. But Boris takes everybody's offer in and doesn't disclose anything. And then. Yeah. What about Seattle? Said, I mean, that's his hometown. Do you think there's any chance that he could pop up there with the Mariners? They've spent an awful lot of money. They have an awful lot of good players. I don't think they have that kind of money in the budget. Mm. But so. 
if I were Snell and I surveyed this, this has been going on since November, pal. It's yeah. now February 1st. Yeah, if I were Snell, take control of your career. You're in Southern California. The weather's phenomenal. You're popular. You still got the ability to be the leader and be the ace of a really young staff. And you still got Mike Trout. But it's the Angels. He wants to win. You know, that that's a franchise that's been peppered with disappointment. Exactly. But you're running out of options. Yeah, you I are. Think. That's fair. So we'll see where this goes a week from now. We'll see if, if it's the Halos or if they continue to stand out on the street corner in the rain. <laughs> and we'll see what happens with Bellinger. I do think Bellinger probably might be going back uh, to Wrigleyville. Hey, we get to halftime.